When our stuff hit the shelves, it just wasn't selling and um, we were confused and we were trying to figure out what was going on. Cultivate London grows a range of different herbs, uh, salad leaves, some vegetables and some bedding plants like small flowers and pots and stuff like that. When we started a few years ago we were growing exclusively herbs. Our product was matching up really well to, um, to your normal standard kind of packets of fresh herbs that you would buy in a shop in a supermarket, in a greengrocer. Our stuff was um, tasting really great and probably better. So the fact that our stuff was of such good quality, we were delighted with. And I guess one of our biggest challenges was that was where our thinking ended. We knew we had a good product. We thought our job was done. And when our stuff hit the shelves, it just wasn't moving, it wasn't selling. And um, we were confused and we were trying to figure out what was going on. And um, we were really fortunate that a couple of um, our first customers and the shop owners took us under their wings and I guess in a sense mentored us about how to sell our, our product. And actually, regardless of all of the other good stuff we were doing with young people and reclaiming disused urban land, we needed to get this right. We needed to get the product, product and produce to sell so that we could keep doing what we were doing. And so then we needed to kind of take a fresh look at this whole packaging situation because what we were doing just wasn't working. It needed to sit alongside other really posh produce and very well packaged produce and it needed to look like it belonged there not like it was you know the the poor cousin that had been ripped from a neighbor's garden or something which it kind of did um, and it needed to be priced well and it also needed to tell the story of where it had come from and what buying this packet of fresh herbs was going to do for young people in the area so we just hadn't envisaged that we were going to need to do that none of us Myself leading the team was schooled in any kind of retail customer focus side of, you know, selling any product at all. And so we were really definitely out of our comfort zone and very much relying on being mentored by these people who did know this stuff. And so we hit a patch where our customers said, look, this product isn't selling, it doesn't look great on our shelves, we're not going to take it for the next little bit, but we are going to work with you to make sure that um, you package it well and you package it right so that it sits in our shops right and then we will instantly take it back and really push it so that our customers understand what it's about. So we went away, we managed to get some uh, support from another local business whose whole job is packaging. We came up with a packaging idea and it worked and it got us back into shops um, and it started to tell the story. I would say 95% of people who, who buy Cultivate London's products in a greengrocer type setting buy it because it tastes good, not because they understand the story of what we do and the benefits that spending that two quid on a packet of fresh herbs provides to young people in the area. They buy it because it looks good on the shelf and when they get it home it tastes really good and it lasts for quite a long time. Um, and for us that's success because for the people that do want to know the story we can talk to we're blue in the face and we do. And for people that that aren't interested in it or haven't clocked it or all they want is a good tasting product they're choosing ours and we couldn't ask for anything better than that.